Okay. A proton moves with speed 1 exponent 6 meter per second in a direction perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field B of flux density 0 0.25 tesla out of the plane of this page. Okay, given the mass of proton and charge of proton, show on the diagram the direction of the magnetic force on the proton and the subsequent path of the proton. And then calculate the radius of the circular path. Okay, good. So let us analyze the, que the questions. So this question is more about magnetic force. Ah, so this is about magnetic force on a moving charge. Ah, yeah, magnetic force on a moving charge. So it, it goes up. Uh, yeah, it uh, refer to this. Uh, force on a moving charge particle in uniform magnetic field okay which uh, which is this one uh, f equal to qb cross b f equal to qbb sine theta you're going to use the right hand rule the right hand rule to solve the questions all right uh, so all right so okay. uh, we have uh, what what charge we have proton proton is a positive charge okay so first thing from from the from here we can see is a proton charge okay, on the right below here the charge is a uh, one proton and the charge of one proton is actually the same as charge of one electron okay uh, it's already given here the charge of uh, proton uh, which is also same like charge of electron 1.6 exponent negative 19 coulomb okay another thing here we can see uh, we've got speed given, uh, the velocity given. Direction of the velocity is perpendicular, perpendicular to the magnetic field. Uh, magnetic field. So, uh, this V, the V is perpendicular to magnetic field B. Ah, uh, and then flux density zero point two five Tesla. So, already given the value of uh, magnetic field also. Ah. Uh, Okay. Ah, the and then he say uh the magnetic field is actually going out of the plane of this page. Ah, this is the direction of the magnetic field. Ah, uh, this is the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, out of the page. Ah, uh, so maybe I can draw it below here. Ah, uh, direction of the magnetic field is going out of the plane. Ah, uh, like this. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, this is the magnetic field going out of the page, out of the plane, out of the page. Okay. Dot means out of the page. Now you go given mass of proton here and then charge of a proton. Show the diagram, the direction of magnetic force. So he wants the direction, yeah? of magnetic force on the proton uh, so we, this one we're going to use our right hand rule okay uh, which is this one okay i have uh, actually drawn in the previous example uh, this one uh, see that i'm going to copy over here okay this one okay this is our right hand rule right hand rule okay our right hand rule ah uh, so the finger shows the uh, velocity the palm uh, this is the palm yeah this is our palm our palm shows the magnetic field and the thumb the thumb shows the magnetic force if positive charge positive charge the magnetic force follow the thumb if negative charge the magnetic force opposite the thumb okay so right now it's a proton uh, this one is a proton a positive charge so positive charge the magnetic force follow the thumb uh, so we use this one yeah not not the negative charge okay we use the positive charge okay so uh, okay so this velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field I can say uh maybe I just draw I just draw the magnetic field uh okay this is the, 
the positive charge is moving uh, perpendicular yeah the velocity and magnetic field they are perpendicular to each other okay perpendicular to each other okay now i uh, this is the moving charge particle okay i have the direction of this is the charge yeah now we have a uh, velocity direction we have magnetic field direction yeah velocity is going to the right magnetic field is going out of the page so what is the direction of magnetic force ah so let me show you yeah let me show you uh uh through the camera yeah let me draw out first the picture yeah okay let me draw out first okay so let me show you over here okay hello okay so this is our can you see my my diagram okay maybe i i need to make it bigger a little bit the magnetic field the dot doesn't uh cannot see cannot see the dot all right let me make it bigger or on a second okay now it's better okay uh all right so this is our um the positive charge okay uh can you see me all right uh, so this is a positive charge moving to the right magnetic field going out of page okay we're going to use our uh right hand rule right hand rule to determine direction of magnetic force remember the finger the finger is the velocity the palm uh okay again the finger is the finger is the uh, velocity the palm is the magnetic field okay finger is the velocity the the palm is the magnetic field the palm is the magnetic field and the palm is the magnetic force okay palm is the magnetic force this question is a proton proton so it's a positive charge positive charge for positive charge the magnetic force uh, follow the thumb okay for positive charge the magnetic force follow the thumb if it is an electron electron or negative ion negative ion uh, then the magnetic force is magnetic force is opposite the thumb okay opposite the thumb if it is a proton or positive ion uh, then the magnetic force follow the thumb if it is a electron or negative ion the magnetic force opposite the thumb huh? the magnetic force opposite the thumb okay so this is a this question is a proton so the magnetic force follow the thumb okay so go back to here this diagram right okay so you see velocity velocity to the right so our forefinger is the velocity velocity okay so now uh and the, and then the magnetic field magnetic field is going out of the page out of the page so that is our pump our pump is the magnetic field okay should go out of the page out of the page so that means velocity must point that direction but magnetic field should go out of the page uh should go uh should go out of the page you see that going out of the page velocity going there uh, our magnetic field going out of the page so where is our thumb our thumb is um our thumb is downward uh, our thumb is downward what is the thumb representing uh, what is the thumb representing the thumb representing the magnetic force a magnetic force and this is a positive charge or negative charge uh, it is a proton proton positive charge okay proton is a positive charge for positive charge the magnetic force okay the magnetic force follow the thumb ah so it follow the thumb so that means our thumb is pointing downward so the magnetic force follow the thumb for positive charge so that means the magnetic force also downward uh, our magnetic force also downward okay so that's that's it okay so i got it ready let me draw it out yeah let me draw it out our magnetic force is is uh downward ah uh, okay uh force is downward okay can you see that uh velocity magnetic field going out of the page our force is downward uh follow the thumb for 
follow the thumb magnetic force follow the thumb because it is a proton positive charge okay so that's it our diagram okay let me go back to the our uh, slide all right go back to our slide okay so let me draw it over here also so uh for, by using our red, uh, right hand rule so uh, we found that the magnetic force is downward so this magnetic force become the centripetal force understand it become the centripetal force so what is the subsequent path subsequent path of the proton ah so it cannot move straight this charge cannot move straight it will move in a circular path because the, there is a force perpendicular to the velocity uh, there is a force perpendicular to the velocity so perpendicular velocity so this one will curve uh, like projectile motion you know but it become a circular motion okay so it goes uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, is it goes uh, I want to ask you is it goes uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, very simple to determine so look at the magnetic force magnetic force is the centripetal force okay uh, put it over here our magnetic force is the centripetal force so that means centripetal force is downward that means where is the center of circle center of circle must be below cannot be at the top uh, center of circle must be below uh, over here it cannot be at the top uh, cannot be at the top understand uh, because our centripetal force is downward so our center should be at the bottom so it should it shouldn't uh, curve upward it should go downward understand so our sub, the subsequent part is it turns clockwise direction so let me draw it properly so the subsequent part is it is a uh, clockwise uh, draw it properly ah okay so the center of circle is over here ah this is a uh, the clockwise okay so the direction uh okay so the answer is okay the direction of magnetic force is uh downward the direction of magnetic force is downward okay and then the path is uh, clockwise it turn clockwise in circular path uh, it turn clockwise in circular path okay circular path clockwise direction okay uh, all right because the uh, centripetal force downward so the center is below here so it is a clockwise direction path eh? clockwise direction circular path so now want to find the radius uh, so want to find the radius of circular path okay it's a clockwise okay circular path now want to find the radius radius that means uh, the r lah. i want to find the radius of the circle so i want to find this radius uh, this radius okay so how uh, so we can use the you know the formula uh, use the formula uh, I use the formula this one FB equal FC uh, use this formula FB equal FC because the centripetal force centripetal force is provide provided by the magnetic force uh, it's provided by the magnetic force so uh, the magnetic force provide the centripetal force and the magnetic force formula Okay, go back to our uh, uh, okay go back to our uh, form formula yeah uh, so qv qvb sin theta yeah qv cross b qvb sin theta okay so uh, the, the that's the formula magnetic force formula okay uh, so it's b qv b qv sin 90 yeah it's sin 90 because you see the uh theta theta is between is between this uh, velocity and magnetic field understand uh, theta is between velocity and magnetic field and he say that velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field uh, so that means the theta must be must be uh 90 degree 
uh, the theta must be 90 degrees. So that's why it's sine 90, okay? And then equal to F, uh, you know, the uh, FC, which is mv squared over r. Okay? Uh, sine 90 is equal to 1, and velocity and the square is cut off. So we can find the radius. Uh, r it become you know r go to the top there yeah r go to the top bq go below so it become uh, mv over bq uh, so okay so i can find the radius so this is a mass of proton uh, using the mass of proton okay uh, mass of pro mass uh, mass of proton. Actually, this mass of proton and charge of proton you can find in the list of constant. If you check your uh, list of constant, mass of proton provided, and also the charge of proton is the charge of electron also provided also. So you can find the list of constant if not provided in the questions. Okay. Uh, okay. So mass of proton is um. Uh, uh, one point six seven three uh exponent negative twenty seven kilogram multiplied by velocity velocity is one exponent six oops one exponent six uh over the magnetic field magnetic field is uh zero point two five tesla uh and then the the charge is a uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, so let's calculate. Uh, let's calculate uh, this answer. Okay, the answer is uh, 0 0.0418 meter. So, is that correct? Yes, that's the radius of circular path. Uh, 0 0.042 uh, meter or 0 0.0418 meter. That's correct. Okay. Uh, so, that's it. Okay, direction of uh, magnetic force is downward. Okay. It's uh, downwards and uh, subsequent path of proton is clockwise in circular path. Okay, so remember your right hand. Uh, okay, that's all for these questions. Okay, bye.